Good day learners, this is Is Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the grassland ecosystem. There are lots of places on earth where grasses spread out on the ground that ranges through mountains. The wind blowing through the grass is like green waves of the ocean that look magical to the eye. These are the grassland biomes and they are really amazing. So let's dive in to find out what they are. So what is a grassland? The grassland biome is named after the things you see first on them. The grass. It's quite dry, close to a desert, but it has healthy grasses and good land. But since it is dry, there are hardly any trees growing there. That's because large trees need lots of water to survive. Now since there's very little rain, only the low grasses and wildflowers grow because they drink the water in the soil faster than trees do. Trees just grow near rivers or where there is lots of rain. Fun fact learners, did you know that grasslands account for almost 40% of the world's land area? And they exist in every continent except Antarctica. So going back again to the topic, the plants and grasses depend on the deep roots simply because they protect themselves from other animals, insects and even from cooler weather. Plants survive because of these deep roots. The leaves and the top part of the plant dies because of the winter or even too much heat from the sun with no rain. Either way, the root will still be alive and the plant will grow back. On the other hand, these deep roots can also help the plants to dig below and find water in the hot summer or when the land is very dry. The grassland plants are very unique in how they grow. They're just low to the ground and don't need much water. That's why they only grow less than 6 feet tall and oftentimes they are just like a low carpet on the ground. Now when grasslands get rain more often, tall grass prairies grow. Like in southern parts where the climate is a little warmer and has more rain, the grasses grow taller. In northern climates, which tend to have hot summers and cold winters, the grasses are short. That's because they get less rain. A prairie is a grassland that is in North America. So what are the types of grasslands? There are three main types of grasslands. The temperate grasslands, tropical grasslands, which are also known as savannas, and steppe grasslands. Temperate grasslands have grasses which are dominant in vegetation. There are no trees and large shrubs. The climate there varies more from summer to winter and the amount of rainfall is less. Savanna, on the other hand, is a mixed woodland and grassland. Savanna grasslands are found between tropical rainforests and desert. We can imagine most of Africa for this grassland. It is found in areas such as Central Africa, America, and the North and East of South America like Brazil. Steppes are grasslands that are found in Russia, Mongolia, and Ukraine. There are over 4,000 miles of steppes in Asia. The grasses that grow in here are shorter than those found in temperate and tropical grasslands. There are no trees found in steppes except along the banks of rivers and streams. Speaking of the animals in grasslands, there are lots of them. That's because they lack shelter for predators, thus providing abundance of food for herbivores. Herds of animals living in savanna are enormous. Herds like buffaloes, wildebeest, and zebras. They could be a population of 20,000 in a herd. So those are the main three types of grasslands. Grasslands are very important to animals as this could be their last frontier. This could be the last home for wild animals where humans don't interfere how they live. Let's help preserve this grassland and the wildlife since there are quite a number of endangered species living there. So learners, now we've learned a lot about how grasslands work. They're not just a cool view to share with, 
but they serve a greater purpose as well. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.